What's going on Dragon Ball Z fans, I'm Viewer Entertainment Gaming here today bringing you some more news, information, and updates surrounding the upcoming next gen Dragon Ball Z video game, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Now, the mystery character has finally been revealed everybody, we get to see his face, we get to see how he looks like, and honestly, he really does look like a Super Saiyan God version of Ultimate Gohan. Um, he has a Saiyan Scouter, he has Piccolo's cape, he has the uh, Trunks' Capsule Corp jacket on, and what's really awesome about this is Future Trunks has been confirmed to be in this game, although he is looking very, very different. He's wearing a different type of outfit. As a matter of fact, Future Trunks is actually wearing his original Dragon Ball Online black outfit, and he's referred to as Time Patrol Trunks. Now, um, he's face to face with this mysterious character. Now, we don't know what he is. We don't know who he is. Although we do know that the Mystery Man will go back in time and relive the past events from Dragon Ball just because he's very curious to see what happened in those specific time periods. So, he will have a lot to do with, you know, the Saiyan Saga, the Frieza Saga, the Cell Saga, the Boo Saga, the Fusion Saga. He will have a... A very critical role I would say in this because he will get involved and at the very bottom left we get to see him stand right in front of Trunks and this dude looks big I mean whoever he is whether he's a god whether he's your own character you created whether he's somebody else whether he's an actual you know canon character or not he seems to be relatively bigger than Trunks I mean give or take the situation I would say he's roughly around seven feet but then again he has to be a custom character he can't just be a character that you know, happens to be canon by Akira Toriyama, it makes no sense. He has, you know, Ultimate Gohan's haircut, it's red. He has, you know, a Capsule Corp jacket with a, with a yellow shirt, you know, Piccolo's cape, a Saiyan scouter. He's, he's actually using the Kamehameha in the actual picture, so I mean, who is he? What is he? We do not know. Now, a lot of people have been talking about the Dragon Ball Xenoverse's gameplay, and honestly guys, I will say this, there are a lot of people out there complaining already. Um, give the game a chance. Nobody is willing to give this game a chance. I mean, I've seen several people complain about, oh, this looks like, you know, rip off of Battle of Z. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be shit. This looks like it's worse than, you know, Raging Blast. We want Budokai. I understand that Dragon Ball Z Budokai was the, you know, assembly for Dragon Ball in terms of video games. I mean, it, it's what built the very foundation. We had Budokai uh, 1, 2, 3. We had Budokai Tenkaichi 1, 2, and 3. You know, they were awesome for what they were. You know what I mean? They, you can't replace that. Um, you know, Dimps is making this game, and Dimps has a very good reputation, and I do have my faith in Dimps. Um, so yeah, I mean, in terms of that specific company, I do believe we're going to get what we want. Uh, like I said, there was another picture shown to be a, uh, you know, time capsule whatnot, so it's actually going to be depicted to where you're actually traveling in time, uh, back and forth. Um, in terms of the hyperbolic time chamber, uh, there was a lot of rumor going around that you got to actually function within the hyperbolic time chamber as the seasons change and whatnot. It can be, you know, scorching fire, blazing, you know, volcanic stuff happening, you know, ice cold glaciers and stuff like that, whatever. If, that, if that's a confirmation, that's pretty cool. Um, but in terms of gameplay, guys, I mean, the game is in its alpha stage. I do want to tell you that right now. Um, it's in its alpha stage, so the graphics aren't really, you know, as good as they as they will be. Um, you know, they, they the game is still in its prototype phase. Uh, just before anything, there, there hasn't been a release date announced at this point in time. Um, but like I said, I'm pretty sure the game is going to drop early next year. It just has to. Um, especially if they're in their early stages of the game. I mean, they're nowhere near... Um, to where they want to be in terms of perfection, in terms of overall capabilities for the game. Um, but the game will drop for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and I don't know, not necessarily know about the PC just yet, so you're just going to have to hold up on that one. But yes, Dimps is making this game the company behind the Budokai series. And yes, they are incorporating a little bit of, of, of Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Z. They're incorporating a little bit of Raging Blast, a little bit of Budokai Tenkaichi as well. I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the uh, fighting mechanics aren't just, you know, repetitive button mashing. If you actually go back in time and you remember how Budokai was, it was button mashing, in a sense. I remember having to mash buttons all the time on Budokai Tenkaichi 3, although that was the best Dragon Ball Z game next to Raging Blast 2. I don't see why a lot of people are complaining. The game is not finished. I mean, just be happy that we're actually getting more Dragon Ball Z stuff this year. I mean, we had Battle of Z, 
um, in the beginning of the year. We have the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods movie coming out in August, and now we have this new game. That's awesome. The first game of its kind to drop for, you know, the next-gen consoles in terms of Namco, Bandai, Dimps, whatever the case may be. But this is a new character, everybody, um, and, and this person will have a very critical role um, within the game. We don't know who he is. I mean, they're focusing it around him. Um, he's going to interfere in certain time lapses and whatnot, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, but as of right now, there hasn't been a release date, and there hasn't been a character customization mode uh, confirmed as of right now. I mean, they might confirm it tomorrow, they might confirm it next week, next month, whatever. If there is a character creation mode, I mean, I really don't see why not. The character cannot be a canon character, unless, of course, they're going based off of the Dragon Ball Online series. We don't know. I mean, other than that, how would you explain Trunks, you know, wearing a, a black outfit? You know, he looks really, he looks like a mercenary, so... Like I said, guys, the character has been revealed. He looks so much like Gohan and, like, a little bit of, like, a god version of him. I don't know. I mean, it looks pretty cool nonetheless. So, um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Comment in the comment section below on your thoughts and your opinions on this game. Do you guys think Xenoverse is going to be better than Battle of Z? Or do you guys think the opposite? Do you guys think this game will suck? Do you guys think this game will be good? If you were Dimps, what would you do to make this game the best Dragon Ball Z game ever? Uh, visually, you know, competitively, how exactly would you do this game? Let me know in the comment section below, everybody. Thank you all for watching. My name is Unmuted Hemi Gaming. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Dragon Ball Z news, information, updates, what if battles, and tons of more great, great, great Dragon Ball Z stuff, I'm telling you right now. I mean, you haven't seen the what if battles that I've been posting on this, so it's incredible. Uh, thank you all for watching, everybody. Please help share and spread this video, guys, to help get the information out, to help get the word out. You guys do not know how important that is. You guys have been doing that for, what, over two years now? And look where it's got us. New Naruto game, new Dragon Ball Z game, more anime, more awesome stuff. And it's all because of you guys. So, uh, for once, I would have to say you guys should give yourselves a round of applause. Um, even though as silly as it may be, you guys are the cause and effect of all this. So, um, in a positive note. So, thank you all for watching, everybody. More What If Battles ahead of your way. More information and whatnot is dropping your way, everybody. So, thank you all for watching once again. Long live Planet Vegeta, even though it's been destroyed. We shall start our own race. Comment in the comment section below on what this new race should be. I mean, I, I think it would be pretty cool. So, anyways, everybody, thank you all for watching. God bless you all, and I'll be seeing you all later. Take care, everybody. It's over 9,000!